This chest exercise that we're going to take you through right now is what we call a ball push-up with your feet on the ball. Now, we're going to take you through three sets of 10 repetitions, and we're only going to give you 30-second rest between these sets. But please, if you need up to a minute, I want you to take it because this is an extremely challenging exercise, and you have to work extremely hard to accomplish this and do it right. Melissa is going to demonstrate this for us. And what you need right now is just a ball, a good place on the floor to do this, and a lot of energy, okay? So get yourself ready. Now, real quick, on the third set, I am actually going to demonstrate this. Yes, your trainer is going to work for you, and I'm going to show you advanced level ways to do a ball push-up. So let's get started. Ready, Melissa? Okay. First set, I want the balls about right at your knees. I want your knees on the ball. This is just to determine where your strength is on this exercise. The further the ball is up your legs, the easier it is. The closer it is to your feet, the harder it is. So to keep her from holding this, let's get you started. You ready? You're going to go down, inhale, exhale against the resistance. Keep going, Melissa. You're doing great. You keep going too, but just listen to what we're doing here. I want you to focus on, as you drop down towards the floor, that the ball does not roll forward or backwards. What I mean by that, as you go down, if you're weak on this, your body's going to tend to want to roll back onto the ball. So as you come down, your hands will end up right by your face. As you come down, they should end up right underneath the shoulders or right to the side of your chest. Excellent job. Good job. Go ahead and take a rest. You can see how hard she was working, and you should be working just as hard. So good job. Take this rest. We're giving you 30 seconds, but if you need, take a minute and just kind of follow along with us. So you're doing great. Feel okay? Hard enough for you? It's pretty hard. What we're going to do is make her work a little bit harder, and if that wasn't too hard for you, this is what I want you to do. On this next set, you're going to make the ball go right under your feet. So we're going to have the feet right on top of the ball. Maybe a little bit of your shin can be on there as well. So let's get you started. you got five seconds. Get yourself set up. When you set up, your hand should be directly under your shoulders or right out to the side of your chest. Your back nice and straight. Go ahead and start, Melissa. Inhale, exhale. Maintain proper spinal alignment. If you're sagging at the back, if you feel like your hips are sagging and your back is swayed, you're not activating that core. See, the difference about doing ball push-ups versus floor push-ups is a ball, you have to stabilize against rolling forward, rolling backwards, and side to side. So now, instead of just doing upper body work, it's a full body workout. Your core, your back, your abs, your hips have to stabilize your whole body while moving the ball, while moving through the push-ups. Feel okay? So you could tell that was pretty challenging. That's probably the good level for Melissa, and that's probably a good level for yourself as well if you're new to this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little work for you. And if that wasn't challenging enough, if you're used to ball push-ups and you're feeling strong, you want to make it a little bit more challenging, follow along. This is going to be pretty hard. So I'm going to do this. I'm also going to talk, and she gets to smile and watch me. So here we go. What we're going to do is I'm going to start in the same position she was with my feet on the ball. But then I'm going to progress to my toes, and then I'm going to progress to a single leg. So here we go. Get myself set up. Hands directly under my shoulders. Back nice and straight. I'm not sagging here. Stay straight. Use that core. Stabilizing side to side. Forward and backwards. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Onto my toes. Inhale. Exhale. When I'm on my toes, now I'm stabilizing against this, which is inner and outer thighs. So it's going to make it work a lot harder. Inhale. Exhale. What's that? Three, Melissa? Got seven more. Let's go one leg. Inhale. Exhale. That's too hard on toes. One leg flat footed. Inhale. Exhale. Nice and strong. Good form. If now, I'm going back to my toes because I can handle it. Here we go. How many more do I have? Out to my side. Now it creates rotational stress. Woo. See me fight it. Inhale. Exhale, nice and strong. You're doing good. Push yourself. If you can handle this, work. You can see I'm working. If I'm working, you better be working. I have no idea how many I have here. And done. See how hard that was? See, I'm sweating a little bit. You should be too. If you can get to that level, congratulations. If not, you know what your goal is to work up towards. So work hard, accomplish this exercise. Great results will come from it.